You know, Jack, sometimes I just want it over, no matter which way it goes. And then I think I'd... I can't live without my son. Hey, it's gonna be okay. Uh, sorry. I'll come back. No, sorry. no, it's okay. Stay. Hey, Dixie. How you doing? Uh, better. I'm worried think. about you. Oh, no, I'm all right. You sure? Yeah, I got good friends. I got a great lawyer. Jack's gonna get me some time with Junior today. Oh, yeah, that's mm -hmm. great. Yes, yes, it's wonderful. Thank you, Jack. And thank you for caring. Always. You know, I have it much better off than a lot of people in this world. My mother used to always say that. <laughs> mother was right. Speaking of mothers, you know Mrs. Orsini? Ted's mom? Well, uh, I've got her son's wallet. I think I'm just going to give it to her if I can't find him. I see. Oh, Dixie, Mrs. Cranshaw's been asking for you all morning. Could you stop in and see her just for a minute? Oh, sure, yeah. I was supposed to do that yesterday, anyway. Good. Thank you. Sure. Hey, Dixie, right. could you do me a favor? Sure. Mrs. Orsini has to sign some papers that I've had drawn up. Could you witness it for me? Oh, yeah, I'd be happy to. Great. I've just got to see a patient. I'll be there in a minute. Okay, I'm just going to catch Stephen for the second witness. Oh, okay. okay. Something, something hit you. Mm-hmm. Tell me. I don't know if I can. It's like the inside of my head feels like a video camera that's gone berserk. Be patient. Can't. Sooner or later, it's just got to come into focus. Darling, you have to find this woman. Now, she obviously meant a great deal to you. You still feel so protective about her, and who knows? Maybe she's still in trouble. Billy, you'll be dead. And only damn sure you feel a lot of pain getting there. Do you hear me? Billy Clyde Tuggle. 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 Billy Clyde Billy Clyde Billy Clyde Billy Clyde Again? Yeah. I remembered something. I remembered something important. His name. It's Tuggle. Billy Clyde Tuggle. Billy Clyde Tuggle. Who said it? I did. I was talking about him, how I wanted him to suffer, how I wanted him to come back so I could kill him. Oh, no. Yes. Well, now what are you going to do? Exactly what you want me to do. I'm going to track her down. If I can find this guy, Tuggle, there's a good chance I can find her. I gotta try. Once upon a time, I loved this girl. Darling, go and search for her. Go now. Okay. Use my phone. Move. You'll be able to hold down the fort? Of course I will. Will you be all right? <laughs> go. You're the best. Okay, Mrs. Cranshaw, you take care of yourself. You'll be fine. Oh, perfect timing. Oh, wonderful. Hi. Hi. Can I help you? It depends. This is, uh, Valley Investigations, right? Uh, yeah, that is. <clears throat> what, is everybody out to lunch? Everybody but me. Ah, oh, yeah, right. <laughs> this must be a pretty kicky job for you, huh? The kickiest. So, what are you doing? Uh, working your way through school? Don't tell me, being a... Secretary for a P.I. must be kind of glamorous. Well, I'm not a secretary and I'm not working my way through school. Just what position are you on the team? Well, I'm a full partner. A founding partner, as a matter of fact. How can I help you? I assume that you are here to get help. You're kidding. You're Nancy Drew and this is the way of the future? Sir, we offer youth and vigor and new and different approaches. Now, <clears throat> exactly what is it that you want approached? Uh, well, it's a kind of a search. Uh, they're popular these days. A man or a woman? Uh, both. Man and a woman. Well, you want them, we'll find them. Now, we're going to need some details. Miss, this search is important to me. Uh, in fact, it's 
kind of critical. All signed, sealed, and legal. Thank you. <laughs> what service? Well aimed, please. Thank you, everyone. Ah, well, uh, maybe now you can relax. Oh, I just don't know. I feel so much better. I am going to send a copy to California. I'm going to file a set, and then I'm going to give you a set. Okay? Oh, thank you. I just can't tell you how grateful I am to all of you. And thank you, Galen. It was my pleasure. And now that your will is all squared away, I want you to forget about it. You're not going to be needing it for a long, long time. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> That's right. Well, duty calls. Yeah, I've got to get back to the office. Yes, Goodbye. I should get to work, too. Bye-bye. Oh, wait a minute. I have for you Ted's wallet. Oh, he's going to be so relieved to have this. Sorry, it took me so long to get it back to you. <laughs> Do you have to dash? I mean, could you stand oh. talk for a while? Well... Just for a minute. I just want to see how you're getting along. Things are better. And what about the custody case? How's that progressing? Things there are pretty much the same. I, um... I'm going to get to see Junior maybe sometime today. When am I going to get to see some pictures of that little boy? Well, if you'd like, I actually have some with me. <laughs> I'll show you. I've got them from way back when, forever in a day. <laughs> really cute ones. See? Oh, <laughs> oh isn't He's he up in his precious? <laughs> and then there's a really cute one from when, uh, when he was in the kitchen with me. <laughs> Wait a minute. Go back. Excuse yes, me? that picture. Go back. Critical? You don't want to tell me about it? I think it? maybe I should just think about it. Absolutely not! No, I mean, you're here. Let's get started on this. Oh, uh, miss, uh, this would be like trying to find a needle in a haystack. Oh, good. That's our specialty. Listen, if you'll just give me some statistics, some names, some faces, etc. Look, this situation is very, um... Oh, it's okay. We handle everything with the utmost confidentiality. Wait. Can I be blunt? Please. I didn't expect for the P.I. that I would speak to to be so... So? Cute. Well, don't worry, sir. I mean, don't let the piano and the dartboard throw you. We may be eccentric, but we are brilliant. A bit brilliant. Um, look, I don't think I really need to do oh, this. Oh, sure you do. Look, you're already here. I feel like I already know you. Please, let us help you. Just stay and talk to my partner. The truth is, I don't want to be responsible for us losing a client. But it wouldn't be your fault? Uh, please, just sit down and spill it. I can tell this is going to be a swell case. Are you okay? This man. Who is this man? Didn't I tell you that's, uh, that's the most important man in my life? That was the man I was gonna marry, or remarry. You, you were going to marry this man? I loved him more than anything or anybody in this world. Well, why didn't? He died. Edmund, great, you're still here. You ever heard of the knock first rule? What is it? Your mother? No, 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 it's fine, thank God. It's me who needs your help. What's going on? Well, for starters, my memory's coming back. Well, that's great, isn't it? I'm not sure. Lately, I feel like I'm watching television. Somebody's playing handball with a remote. Okay. All right, what do you got so far? Not what, who. What I got so far is the face of a woman I think I'm in love with, chicken fingers, and the name of a guy I'm pretty sure I don't like so much. See, that's why I need your help. 
Now that I got his name, if I can find him, maybe he can tell me who the hell I was all the time I wasn't at Orsini. You were going to marry this man? I loved him more than anyone or anything in this world. Why did... He died. Are you okay? Should I get a nurse? It's no fantasy. She really exists somewhere. The girl I love. The answer was in front of us the whole time. It was you. I'm the answer? To what? Tell me a, a, about him. I'm sorry, I don't understand what you're saying. Oh, oh, forgive me, I... I've been just thinking out loud. I think maybe I should go and Oh, no, 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 no. I haven't felt this good since I left Napa Valley. Are you sure? It's just that I find your story so... so fascinating. So romantic. It does more for me than medications or machines ever could. Oh, please, please. Tell, tell me about him. Well, I don't know. I mean, I don't want to bore you oh, with my life. Don't force me to watch TV. I've seen too many talk shows. You know, you're really... You are really a very remarkable young woman. And I knew it. I knew it. The minute I laid eyes on you. Well, coming from you, that means a lot. <laughs> well, I know we barely know each other, but I do feel... There is a, a bond connecting us. It's almost as if you were the daughter I never had. That's so sweet of you to say. I do enjoy talking to you. Well, then go right on talking. You have no idea how much it means to me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it'll help me get my mind off Dad. Did you say Dad? Mm-hmm. Don't you remember you were telling me about your son, Ted, and I thought it sounded a lot like Ted? Oh, of course. Ted. Ted. When did he die? Two years ago, in December. Before Christmas? December 10th. How did it happen? He died a hero. He was killed by a man named Billy Clyde. I finally have his name. Tuggle. Billy Clyde Tuggle. I thought he might have been the guy that kidnapped me when I was a kid. No, you don't think so? Not unless he's a midget. According to what I remember, I'm his size. Even bigger. No, I definitely know this guy Tuggle, whoever he is, is an adult. And I'm getting sick and tired of feeling like Rip Van Winkle all the time. Edmund, listen, I know it sounds thin, but if I can track this guy Tuggle down, perhaps I can fill in some of the gaps. You really want to get into this? Yes. Will you help me? Well, with a name like Tuggle, how tough can it be? Thank you. Now listen, I got a couple of ideas. I promise I don't know where to begin the search. And he speaks English, that's all I remember. Okay, that's a start. Barely. My first idea was to hire a private investigator. I even went to an office in town, but she didn't seem like she was up to it. Oh, you don't want to trust anybody with this information. I then thought about going to the police. I mean, if he's such a bad character, maybe he's got a criminal record, right? Mm -hmm. All we got to do is persuade some cop to pull his sheet. A couple minutes to the terminal, you got an instant computerized nationwide manhunt. Maybe. Exactly. Cops are a little kitschy about sharing their information with civilians, so... I think we got a shot at that, uh, that avenue unless absolutely necessary. Which... is why I've come to see you. And Tempo. Right. You cover 50 states, right? Uh, you think he's a subscriber? He didn't strike me as much of a reader, no. 
But if you do a scan of the obit file, there's a good chance you might turn something up on it. It's worth a shot. Yeah, and that's not all. But listen, I bet cash money somebody like you has got a lot of friends down at the wire services. So, I mean, this guy's such a charmer. Who knows? Maybe somebody's already written, uh, written something up about him. For instance, the National Intruder. Something about uh, sex-crazed serial killers that <laughs> stalk amnesia victims. I don't know. I'm afraid not. I'm afraid not. But listen, we do have the unique name. That's yeah, it. yeah, yeah. See, and if we can track him down to a particular state or, God willing, even a city, all I got to do is go to the local DMV, the Hall of Records, e e even the phone book. Now, if we don't get a lead, then the legwork will be a drag. What, have you been reading detective novels? Can't stand the why. How do you know all this stuff? I don't know. Everybody knows this stuff. Look, at the risk of being rude, could we, uh, we get cracking on this? It's your future. Yeah, Herb. Give me a research, please. Yeah, I was strong enough to rock the bridge. I think Billy Clyde must have set it off on a timer or something like that. And he and Tad fell into the Sycamore River at a place called the Witch's Coffin. And they both died. Did they find Tad's body? No, they didn't. They only found Billy Clyde's. Why do you ask me that? I just wondered. At first, I... I just didn't want to give up hope. They found his watch and his wallet. I didn't want to believe that he was dead. Because they couldn't find his body. Well, exactly. My Uncle Palmer, he had a search going for months. But nothing was ever found. I guess I had to finally accept that he was never coming back. Oh, never, never. You said a terrible word. Now, you said that you'd had trouble getting Ted out of your mind these past few days. Why is that? Probably because of the custody suit. Ted and I met and fell in love when I was married to Junior's father. If it hadn't been for Ted, I never would have gotten Junior back in the first place. Oh, yes, I would think... Tad would be quite capable of dealing with your ex, Mr. Chandler. Yes, he was, as a matter of fact. There's a part of me that just can't keep... can't stop hoping that somehow or other he's going to come back, but... Well, he's not silly. That really is never going to happen. Never? Oh, come in. Oh, uh, sorry to interrupt you while you're working, honey, but um, you've got a visitor out here. Oh, great. I'll be there in a minute. I'll keep you okay. Don't let me keep you. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just that I'm an hour after my work time, you know. <laughs> well, thank you, Christine. I appreciate your talking to me. I learned a great deal. It's my pleasure, Billy. And, you know, if you ever need me for anything at all, just call me, all right? You have my number, right? Oh, you'll be hearing from me, and it'll be good news, I promise. Just feel better. <laughs> I'll try to arrange to have your ex-husband shot. <laughs> To meet my uh, uncle. You think alike. And you, you weathered these tragedies all alone. However did you manage that? Well, I really didn't do it alone, actually. My uh, family, my Uncle Palmer, Opal, and Ted's family helped me out quite a bit. Ted had a family? Dr. Joe Martin. Joseph Martin? Yeah. Didn't I tell you? Ted's last name was Martin. His, his mom, Ruth, works here, too. Yeah. I have to go. I'll see you later. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. Sure. Shut up, honey. 